Hey everybody, uh, Spoonvet here, and I'm with Cora uh, uh, Kitty, and I'm with Cora Gnome. Uh, I'll first boot up Gnome. Wait, let me see if this one. Yeah, they're both 17, but um, <laughs> that sounds weird and totally wrong. Um, but the Corora or whatever you're gonna pronounce it is also in two flavors a gnome and a KDE and I'm testing the latest 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 version so that's development version and I hope that they're both gonna be awesome No idea what kind of kernel or what kind of setup they've got, but oh, cool! Look at the pretty fireworks. Here you go, Cora. It is aimed or made to be a user-friendly Linux, whatever that means, and easy to use. Well, that's not the same as user-friendly, but it's handy if you have both. Alright, let's go back to the gnome one. See how far that one's going along. That's the only problem of running like two D stores at the same time. And I'm constantly switching between. Okay, I'll just do first the uh, KDE one then, and uh, we'll do the rest later. Right, uh, let's get in. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Computer systems. Screen monitor. Sadly, this one has a standard theme. Something I quite liked about the uh, Neptune or the one from 7OS is that it had a different theme. Alright, so that's one. Well, let's see what's on here. Maybe some cool applications are on here. Development. Alright, okay, cool. Well, at least they have some development tools on here. Internet, what's on here? They have a blogging client, micro blogging client. VOP phone, okay, that's something you don't necessarily see a lot. Uh, I've got Firefox as a web browser, so network manager, SSH keys. Alright, so this is chock full of goodies, as it were. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Now we go to the gnome one, and this is the gnome one, and I'm sorry guys, but I like it better. I like the round as it edges. I don't know if that stays, but that's it looks really cute. Uh, system settings. Look at that. That's that's pretty cool. I've I've not noticed that before. Could be that that's something I missed, but there you go. Keep this configuration go away. All right. So this is the gnome 3.0 version one. I like those rounded edges. I really do. I've, I'm sorry. Can't help it. So we've got um, Windows and applications. And applications we can uh, well, basically just go through our applications, of course. But let me see what we've got for internet. I'm, I'm sorry, but I really dig this whole way of searching. I mean, um, Ubuntu has a slightly different style to it, like the Unity style. But the GNOME 3.0 style is, I think it's pretty cool. Um, yes, yeah, changed from the Node. GNOME 2.0 style, but still, I quite dig it. I really dig it. All right, but they have the same stuff going on. They have a VIP or VoIP, if you want to call it. Deluge as a torrent. Um, that's a bit too bad. Firefox as a browser. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
system tools uh, it's too much but they had some development issues on the other one so that should be on their accessories I think they got cinnamon on here whammo whammo yeah why hell not all right universal access orca of course system tools yes. yum extender maybe in office they have it project management and stuff All right, so they both are geared toward like people that want to use it as a sort of workplace as well which is not that bad if you if you do that um, so alright so that's uh, let me see if I can like launch the terminal real quick applications Ter terminal So it is a three three seven one. My God, I don't know what that is. I have no idea what it's based on. Maybe Fedora. Yeah, that could be FC seventeen. Fedora has a seventeen one out right now, so that could be Fedora Core seventeen. So I'm guessing it's based on that one. But then with uh, GNOME three O and Cinnamon. So that's that. Oh no, I forgot. I forgot one. I forgot one. I forgot one. Because I wanted to show you guys, this is just a real quick one. It uses up a lot of memory. <laughs> so don't don't run this when you have one gig. All right, we'll go to the KDE one. And then just for my sake, I'm going to close this one already. Because so can I just shut it down? Oh, Alright. No doubts, no doubts. Because uh, I'm running this in like two gigs of memory space. And if I want to record and still do all the rest, then my computer will be very slow. So I'm just gonna close that one. All right. So that one is stopped right now. Wow, it closed like in I don't know less than ten seconds. It was closed. So that's pretty fast. Uh, same here. Three three seven one floor of course seventeen core. And roughly the same memory usage as the other one, so that's not too bad actually. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So and that's it for the Cora KD and Cora. Um, no, the name should be well something done with. As I cannot pronounce it, shut down the computer. That's it for these two versions.